Damn, damn, damn. I tried to be the bigger man. I tried to be optimistic. I tried my best. But I guess my best wasn't good enough to ignore the pain that is Titan Season 3. It's like that musty motherfucker in the room. You try to ignore it, blow it off. I don't smell nothing. Damn, it's kind of funky in here. Yo, somebody musty as hell, bro. That's how Titans is. I can't ignore the funk no more. The must has overtaken me. The characters are doing dumb shit. Scarecrow is the main big bad of the season. Pain. How you for nigga? Stop it. I was born in the tropics. I'm the way people mosh pit. And they came with a starship. Yeah. yeah, 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 I got it. Yeah, I'm really from the tropics. Fuck is you doing the next? What's good, Digital Trap Squad? Y'all know what it is, so check it, right? Alright, y'all, look, man. This show has transitioned into exactly what I was afraid it was going to continue to be. Chronicles of the Bat Family. <laughs> Featuring the Super Friends. That is exactly what the fuck this show is. Every single character feels like they don't exist for any reason except to be a pal to Dick Grayson. The only person on this roster who feels like they exist outside of Dick Grayson is Starfire. She's the only one who exists outside of Dick. <laughs> There's all types of jokes right there. <laughs> There's all types of jokes just <sighs> waiting for me. <laughs> Y'all know I'm immature, but it feels like she's the only character that exists outside of Dick Grayson. And the sad part about that is that this show was set up as a Titans show. There's nothing wrong with a Nightwing movie. There's nothing wrong with a Nightwing series. Outside of Terry McGinnis, he's my most favorite member of the Bat family. I love Dick Grayson, but oh my God, this show wasn't advertised as that. And even with Titans being in the title name, this show has warped these characters into something else. <laughs> They have become something else because at this point, they're not really who they were set up to be from jump. Look at these people, bro. Anna Diop gets so much smoke thrown her way. But what people fail to understand is that the writers deserve so much blame for what they've done with her character. These writers deserve to be stoned in public. They should be forced to wipe their ass with sandpaper for the next three years. They should be forced to go paintballing with no protective vest on. These people are criminals. They are stealing money. Really? So guess, guess what I stole and got away with it? Anna has been nothing but a good soldier. She has been nothing but a solid actress of what she's been given to do on this show. But they got Corey doing some of the dumbest shit ever. I swear to fucking God. A few episodes ago, she's murdering mobsters. Like she clapped up somebody quick. Didn't even think about it. Got pissed off and was like, bitch, you fried. Instantly. I'm like... Damn. <laughs> I was kind of speechless. Like, I was not expecting her to just murder this bitch. She's supposed to be a hero. What the fuck? I was confused as hell by that. Then, just this previous episode, eight, they had her do some shit that makes no sense for a character. She winds up 
assisting Crane in his plan by blowing a hole into the ground. Unlike nigga, Starfire is smarter than this. Starfire knows she, along with Connor, are the most destructive members of this team. She knows not to go inside of a building, guns are blazing. She knows that, but the writers decide to make her stupid. Then they double down on the stupidity. This pump station leads directly to Gotham's water supply. Are you telling me I just dosed all of Gotham? You're a stone cold killer. And you're sick as fuck. You mean to tell me this character is that damn reckless with their abilities? That makes no sense. She's been a titan for years now. And since we're on a topic that bleeds right on over into Crane, Scarecrow. Oh my God, y'all. His plan now after the inhaler plan failed because of Jason Todd, who he's manipulating by the way, his plan now is to poison the Gotham water supply to induce fear upon everybody. <laughs> this is the problem with that plan. It's been done in live action before. <laughs> it's been done in live action before. This happened previously in Batman Begins. That was Scarecrow's plan in that movie. And even in that movie, it was a little bit more high tech. Here, oh my God, it's the dumbest shit ever. We just gonna open up this tank and just pour it right on in. <laughs> we got no sort of like special technology to speed it up. We got nothing else going on. We just gonna dump this shit into a pipe and bada boo bada bam. <laughs> Gotham is scared now. The shit is so stupid because it's been done previously with Ra's al Ghul. But this is the other thing about Scarecrow. He's now the big bad of the season. See how the plot and the story still revolves around the Bat family. You see that? You notice that? And now it takes the entire Titans team to stop him. <laughs> He's having these mental breakdowns consistently. He's getting nervous, he's getting scared. And in these mental breakdowns, you're seeing a fragile villain. That makes him so disjointed from what he's supposed to be. If he's the big bad, he should be somebody that you fear throughout his entire attention. It shouldn't be somebody who's so easily rattled. Taste of your medicine, doctor. <laughs> But don't worry, we know we throwing a whole bunch of bullshit at you. Half this shit ain't gonna stick, but we do got some really great sex scenes. You know, you definitely want a close up of Blackfire's back. You definitely wanna see Superboy stroking. That's definitely something you wanna see. We know you signed up for that, right? And oh yeah, by the way, uh, Tim Drake is a little comic book accurate, so that's cool. That's cool, but uh, I forgot that he was on this show. <laughs> they introduced this man, episode one, showed him again, episode five, and ain't touched him since. <laughs> I'm like, who this motherfucker? Oh, shit. That's Tim Drake. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Anyway, it's been weird, but it's been real. Titans 110,000% is a Nightwing show, which is fine. A Nightwing show can work. But I thought this was about a group of heroes. This is... <laughs> I'm about to torture myself and go watch episode nine when it drops later this week. Get out of here, bitch. When I pull up, she gonna look though. Look at he mad, ain't look bro. She bad as hell, but can't cook though. It don't matter, but you still watching me while I did it for the look though. A hundred feet worth of drip, don't drown this fly shit. That's the look though. And look though, look though. I'm the way you can look though. I'm something different, I don't think you get it, but I still did it for the look though. Look though, look though. Yeah, I did it for the look.